Hi, I'm Ali. Today I'm going to read you a story called. Wait a minute. I'm going to read you a story called. Can oh, I still oh, come oh, back? Oh, sorry, so sorry, sorry. It was a, a little bit of a sound. Animal Rescue Friends Tales. Bees. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Animal Rescue Friends. Bees. Hey, Maddie. There were leftovers from the school bake sale today. I saved you a triple chocolate cupcake. Yum, my favorite. Ah, a wasp. The cupcakes. It's just a little bee. Sorry, I dropped the cupcakes. I'm kind of scared of wasps and bees. It's okay. Look, the bee is flying to the other side of the barn. You stay here. I'll go check it out. I found a nest. We should call for. We should tell Fred. Wow, that's so exciting. How do we get rid of them? Bees are an endangered species. I know you're scared, but we need to help them. Are you calling the exterminator? I'm calling a beekeeper. Two hours later. This is Susie, a local beekeeper. She's trying to help us move the bees. Should we all be wearing suits? Will we get stung? Well, female bees can sting, but only if they feel threatened. If you stand back a few feet, they'll leave you alone. I'll move the bees from the nest to this box of hive, and then I can sa safely transport them to my apiary. Nest, hive, a priori, what's the difference? A home of bees make for the difference, like the one hanging from the barn is called a nest. A, a home that people make for them, like the one I brought, is called a hive. And the place where we keep the hives is called a, a priori. Belle, can you hold this for me? The smoke helps, helps calm the bees. If they come near you, just give it a squirt. I'm taking some of the honey honeycomb out. I managed to find the queen. The worker bees will follow the queen near the hive. What sort of work do you have? They have lot do they have like building the comb, cleaning, scouting scouting for food, and guarding the hive from wasp wasps. See, Belle, bees don't like wasps either. These cells hold the bees' brood, as well as plant nectar can eventually turn into honey. The worker also pollinate plants, give, giving us lots of beautiful flowers and yummy fruit. The honey's, the honey's my favorite part. Wow, they do a lot of more than I thought. They're very busy bees, just like you, Belle. You make it look easy. I have plenty of practice. You just need to be gentle and move slowly. I like to name the queen in each of my colonies. Maddie, since you've got a nest, would you like to name this one? Well, Belle saw the first bee. I think she, sh she should name it. How about Cupcake? Queen Cupcake. I love that. Bees aren't as scary as I thought. I like to learn more about them. When I was your age, I loved gardening with my grandma, and I was really curious about all the bees buzzing around. This book answered me a lot of my question questions. Bee facts. Thanks. Come visit Queen Cupcake in her hive anytime. Next day, mmm, do I smell honey buns? Thanks, Belle. What's the occasion? Just. Just to say things, you were both right. The bees are important, and they're not so scary once you learn about them. Did you know that bees and butterflies pollinate 75% of the world's flowering plants, and that the workers are all female, and that honeybees communi communicate by doing a little dance, and that if you see a tired bee, you can beat it with sugar water and give it energy? They're actually quite beautiful. They're, they sure are, Belle. They sure are. Okay, but I read it, but there is plenty of more time. So I'm going to read another book. Hmm, how about another book called... Okay, I found it. Animal Rescue Friends, book four, Noah and Pepper. Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Noah and Pepper, book four. 
Ring. You kid. You kids. It's your turn. All right, Jimmy. Just give me a minute. Come on, Noah. Just do it. Run. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. Let's turn all of those flamingo sugar butts face the street. I really should be getting home to dinner. Want to come over to my place? Mom and Dad are on turn again, and I've got frozen pizzas and video games with our names on them. Nah, but thanks. I'm having last song with my dad tonight. Who will like? Who will pick last song over saying over pizza? I totally pick pizza, but my dad's expecting me. Fine, good for you. Meow. Damn. Yow. Is it hurt? I think something's wrong with it. His paw. Come on, let's get out of here before someone blames this all on us. We we gotta go back and help the cat. That rock didn't touch it. I don't want to get in trouble for something I didn't do. Whatever, I'm out of here. Sorry, little guy. Dad, I need your help. Later that evening, you're doing the right thing. I hope they don't remember the last time I was here. Oh, hello, Noah. Hi, I find this lost cat, and my dad thought you would you would know what to do. Oh well, you came over to the right place. We'll post a picture and see if anyone's looking for him. If not, we'll defle and deworm him and make sure he gets a rabies shot. You you might want to be careful opening the box. I think he's hurt. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hey, Fred, just finished and checking up the chore list. What are you doing here? Meow. My checklist. Here, kitty, kitty. You want a carrot? Squawk. Gotcha. Cats. He might be in pain. He was a uh, lumping when I found him. We'll kind of take a visit, look at him, and first thing tomorrow. So, where did you pick this cat? Jimmy and I were walking home when we saw him. And why isn't Jimmy here with you? He had homework to do. Of course, homework. Thanks for bringing him, Noah. I think I could come by tomorrow and check on him. No, maybe. Of course, you can come by after school if you want. Seven a.m. the next day. Sorry, I'm here so early. I was just worried about the cat. That's okay. I've already been here an hour. Come on, I'll show you how he's doing. You were right about him being in pain. His paws is injured. The vet managed to. Bandaid him from a morning, but no one's been able to put a coat on him. Easy there, buddy. I'm trying to help you. It's okay, kitty. Yikes! Serves me right. I'm actually part of the reason he's hurt. A friend of mine threw a rock that hit a fence. This cat was sitting on it, and he jumped up and down around all funny. I'm really sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. The vet said that his paws have been infected for at least a week. Oh, cats! Can I try? Well, well, I will. Well, will you look at that? I've got to get to school. Thanks for letting me help. Absolutely, don't be a stranger, Noah. Hey, Noah, are you okay? Hey, yeah, just a little bit tired. You hang out with Jimmy last night? No, I was up early to check on the cat. How's he doing? Well, Fred is covered with scratch scratchers, but the cat will be just fine. Hey, yo, Noah, ready for tonight? What's going on tonight? That's for us to know and for you to never find out. Let's get to home room, Maddie. See you at the shelter again soon, Noah. Wait, what did Maddie mean by again? I had to make sure the cat was okay, so I took him to the animal shelter last night. So instead of playing video games with me, you decided to hang out with those two? Uh, whatever. Just to make sure you don't bail on me tonight. We've got some walls to tag. Okay, Jimmy. Back at the shelter after school. How's it going? Better. I'm about to give him a flea bath. Want help? Want help? You are the cat whisperer. That cat has really taken to you. You know, when you first brought him in, I all I could see was a scratching ball of anger. But I think I was too quick. 
to judge. He really struck stuck with him, and now he's gonna make me a great, great pet. You think so? I do. Have you ever thought about a, a pudding? I'll think about it, but right now we gotta go. Oh, hey, you're late. I've got the stuff. Forget the chalk. I've got something better. Ha now we can really mess up the house. No. What do you mean, no? I'm not egging a house. That's doing. That's going way too far. Fine, I'll do it myself then. Let go. You let go. You look funny. No, you do. One week later, stop that pepper. Okay, and today I read you two books. One is called The No End of Pepper and one is called Beast. Okay, thank you for seeing this video. Bye!